Okay, now we are gonna continue with the um, UTV's problem, which has that the UTV's bus moves at a speed of this function, which is velocity depending on time. So if we want to know the first question, which is how much does this bus uh, move from zero to six seconds, we have to integrate because remember, the integral of velocity is distance. Okay, this has to be clear. Because the area under the velocity curve is precisely distance. Now, uh, we have to integrate this function from 0 to 6 seconds, which gives us this uh, t power to the 4 divided by 4 minus 10 thirds times t power to the 3 plus 12 times d squared. Okay? That is the result of integrating this part from 0 to 6 seconds. Now we have to. Um, we have to evaluate it in 6 and 0, but we know that 0 is going to be a 0. 0 times 0, 0, divided by 4, 0. 0 times 10, 0, divided by 3, 0, and 0 times 12 is 0. So there's no need to do that. So when we evaluate this one, that is going to give us 36 meters. Okay? I'm sorry. Um, there you go. 36 meters. And that is. Uh, let A question. Now let a B question is asking us for the total displacement, for the total distance that this car, I mean this bus, moves. So in order to, to know that we should uh, graph the function. So this function is going to result into this graph and as you may notice that we have a curve above the x-axis and we have a curve under the x-axis. So this area has to do with uh, the displacement that goes back. This one is one way and then the bus is gonna come back. Okay? So let's see how much is this area and let's see how much is this area. So in order to do that we need first... So the first thing that we need to know is that uh, we have to uh, Z where exactly the curve is gonna cut this uh, interval. I mean in the curve we know that it's 4 and 6 but how do we really know if we don't have the graph? So in order to do that let's remember that this is the function uh, this is the function that we have which is um, t cubic minus 10 times t squared plus 24 t Okay, and that's uh, velocity in time. So in order to do and you know where the function is crossing, and we need to know the intervals. So remember that in order to do that, we need to factorize it. So let's say that I factorize a d. Okay, so that gives us t squared minus t times t plus twenty four. Twenty four. So that means that this is a trinomial, and we have to factorize it. And the only way to do that is to factorize it in two binomials, multiplying, multiplicating one each other. So we're looking for a term that multiplies it, give us t squared, which is obviously t. And two terms that multiplied each other give us 24 and added, give us 10, which is minus 4 and minus uh, 6. Okay? So we have two factors, each one is one point where the curve is going to intersect the x-axis. So each one of these is a term that gives us an intersection point. So the first one is t equals 0, the second one is t minus 4 equals 0, and the third one is t minus 6 equals 0. So the first point is 0, the second point is going to be 4 seconds and the third point is going to be 6 seconds. So that is how you know where the intersections are. So that means that we're going to have one area from 0 to 4 seconds of the function. Okay? And we're going to have the area from the second point to the third point, which is 4 to 6 seconds of the same function. 
Okay, so far so good. Let's solve these ones. So the problem is gonna be right here, remember? This little guy is a negative area. So what do we do when we face negative areas? Well, there are a couple of uh, theorems that we saw in class that give us that chance. Or we just simply change the sign of it. Keeping the intervals numbers in the same value. So we already did that integral. So remember that the integral is going to be this one. Okay? So let's use it now because we know it. So the first one is going to be d uh, power to the fourth over the fourth minus 10 times, uh, I think it's 10 thirds. Yes, it's 10. Yes, yeah, 10 thirds of t power to the third um, plus 12 d squared. Okay? So the first one is going to be from 0 to 4 minus the second one which is d power to the fourth over the four over four minus ten thirds of t cubic plus twelve t squared from the four to the six. Okay? So once you um, evaluate this one from zero to four, you're gonna see that this one is uh, 128 thirds total. And this one is gonna be minus minus 20 thirds okay those are square units and uh, well, well this one's are not the area this one's our uh, distance so these are meters and these are meters so when we um, change the symbol because this uh, minus sign is affecting this one we're gonna get 148 thirds which is the total distance and that's it